Hey everybody, today we are back at La Mesa in Port St. Lucie and we are looking at this landmark 365. And this is the Model Daytona. So let's get to it. Well, hey, fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> you found your way to the living room. I did, I did. That is a nice uh, three seat sofa, but it looks like it's also reclines. Yes. So um, does it make a bed or is it just recline out for seats? It just reclines out for seats. Excellent. And there's massage and heat in there as well. Excellent, it would be the same with these two. Yes. There's nice storage above these as well as Nice tall, it's tall man storage up there. Tall man storage, and you know what else is tall man size in here? What? Look at that TV. Whoa! That thing is huge. Holy mackerel. Look at how big that is. I mean, that's a 65 to 70 inch TV, if not bigger. That's the biggest TV I've seen in an RV. I agree. Biggest TV. I'm impressed. It is wired for Jensen sound, right? DVD player. There's a nice Furion um, fireplace underneath there. Um, what I didn't mention was your shades. You've got day-night roller shades. So you see how this is kind of meshy? So that's your, your daytime. Let me give it a little tug and it goes up. And then the nighttime is completely, if I can't get my hand on it, but here's the nighttime right here. As you can see, it completely blacks out everything. Um, one other thing that is nice as well, you see they've got these little uh, valances on the side, so when the shades are down in the nighttime mode, it's completely dark in here. There's also this nice little coffee table, right? So, I mean, it really does feel like a nice big living room, and obviously you can buy something like that aftermarket, but it's nice that it comes with it. Wow, that is just huge TV. And look at that. A double oven. A double oven. A double oven. I, I, again, I have never seen a double oven. Never. 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 Got great storage on top. Did we say never? Never. <laughs> as well as underneath. Look at this lighted backsplash. Oh wow, that is super neat. Mm -hmm. And you have your three burner cooktop there with plenty of storage underneath. And there's just storage this everywhere here. Doors. Nice. You know what else this unit has? Dishwasher! Look at that crap! Wow, I've got a new favorite. Yes, I agree. In an island where the sink is to one side. See, I look at this, like that. right? Yes. So a lot of the islands we see, if you can see this from all the way over here, they put the sink right in the middle, right? So if the sink was in the middle, you end up with a little bit of space here and then a little bit of space over there. So you don't end up with a lot of working room. When you put the sink all the way to one side, you end up with this massive, cooking prep area, which is great because countertop space in most RVs is at a premium. That's awesome. Absolutely, and look at the size of this refrigerator. Wow, that is gigantic too. It Beautiful is. Beautiful Furion residential. Yes, yep. huge. Wow, that is huge. Yes, and the nice storage underneath. Look at that. Right? And I'm assuming this would be sort of like the food pantry. I don't know, let's take a look in here. Oh yeah, there's where all your controls are. Now, remember I said this is a digital coach? When you touch these panels, uh, this would they'd have an app, you put it on your phone and you put it on an iPad or whatever. But there's also manual buttons too. So for some reason this isn't working, you have manual buttons. See, for your slides, um, for battery disconnect, all kinds of fun stuff. So there's your nice little station in there. The rest of it, Oh, this is a nice little closet, right? Remember we talked about this? We've got your little octopus uh, hangers in there for putting uh, coats and sweaters and things, which is kind of cool. Sorry about that little camera bounce, guys. Over here, so this is what would probably be more like food pantry. Yeah, that'd be your food pantry. And get, there's some like LED lighting up there too. That is nice so shelf. neat. So you could put your decorative items up there. Oh yeah. What's also cool, and I know we're inside, but the AC is on in here, but you don't hear it at all, do you? It is whisper quiet. So your ACs are all the way up on the roof. This is your duct. It's like a, a, a racetrack, okay? If you follow them around, it's like a racetrack, all right? The big square, those are the intakes. So you, I mean, you can't even hear them. I mean, it's really neat. 
We don't talk pricing a lot in our videos for a couple reasons. The biggest, we're not RV salespeople. Lisa and I, we don't work for a dealer. Uh, we're, we're just, we are enthusiasts. We love looking at RVs and we love sharing them with you guys. Today's gonna be a, an exception. This particular RV, the normal MSRP is 144 grand. It's $53,000 off right now, right? That's, that's a huge discount. If you're interested, please, by all means, the number for La Mesa, Port St. Lucie, is down in the description. And when you call, you gotta tell them the tall man sent you. Don't forget. All right, so let's go up the steps. Hey, look at this. Look at the little LED lights on the steps. That's really cool. All right, what's behind this door? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tall Man's Toilet Test. Ah! All right, porcelain, foot flush toilet, tons of leg room. Uh, there's an, enough uh, left and right uh, room as well. Um, I don't see a toilet paper holder yet, but you know, you can put that in an appropriate place. So all in all, this gets... All right, now right across from the toilet is your sink. It is solid surface, just like the kitchen. And the bowl is mounted underneath. It's the same solid surface material. Lots of room for storage for your, your little things up there as well. Underneath, you got storage here. All right, some drawers for all your other little wonderful things. And then there's some medicine chest storage up here. Okay, which is actually huge, right? Nice tall mirror. I can actually see my whole self in here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> right? Above the toilet, there's a little bit of storage as well. Now, this is the only place for you to put towels inside the shower. So you're missing a little bit of storage for towels, but you know, you could probably put, you know, I don't know, six or eight of them up there. Okay? So let's get in the shower. Alright, now my head is it's at the bubble. I'm not sure. I'm I'm just I'm just barely inside the bubble, okay? But it's good. Also, you can see from this, this is pretty tall. Um, it's not quite, but I mean, this is pretty good. This is gonna block out almost all the water that trying to wash myself would, would go over the top. They are glass doors, not my favorite. Um, I've talked about this in other videos. I would rather have the retracting door. Um, if you wanna know what I'm talking about, um, We'll leave a link in the description uh, for the retractable door as, as well as a video where I talk about the retractable door. The only thing that I don't like is two. One, the glass gets dirty all the time. And two, if you forget to secure these while you're traveling, they're going to be in pieces uh, by the time you get to wherever you're going. So just, just not fun. I mean, you can just, just see how much they're wiggling here. When this thing drives down the road, it's bouncing a lot. Okay. In the back here is a nice seat. If you're too tired while you're doing your shower, oh, you can just take a load off and have a seat. Hey! Okay, shower head. Shower head's in a good position. Now, I would say this though. If this bar was mounted a little bit higher, it would be a little better for a tall person because it's at its max height where it is. And so you're gonna have to, you know, do a little bit of bending to rinse off. But as shower uh, heads go, not bad. So overall, I will give this a yeah. All right, so let's go check out the bedroom. All right, so this is a nice king size bed. Let's see if it's a real king. Uh, let's see, this is, uh, oh geez. Am I all the way up there? 78, that's a weird size, by 70. 78 by 70. <laughs> what size is that? Look, that is close to king size. King size is 80 by 76. So for a tall guy, you would do pretty good. Plus remember, this being an east-west bed and on a slide, you're gonna have plenty of room. So this is pretty good for a tall guy. Now, most beds underneath, this does, there's some storage underneath there. I just can't lift it up. There's some drawers underneath here as well. So there's lots of storage underneath the bed, okay? From sitting on the bed, there's a nice six drawer dresser right here, okay? And speaking of huge TV, look at that. <laughs> that. That is as big as most TVs in the living room of most RVs, and this is in the bedroom. That is absolutely enormous, right? And then right next to it, you've got your little seat there, so if you wanna, it's a great place for shoes down there. 
And so if you wanna put your shoes on right there, that's a good spot to do that. And then you've got this really generous walk-in closet. I mean, look at this. Now, if you're gonna do a washer and dryer, the hookup for it is right here. So your washer and dryer would sort of take up this space, but there's still plenty of space in here uh, for all your clothes. Now this is a full profile fifth wheel. It's absolutely huge. It's got two electric awnings, one that goes from basically just about the front to the door. And then there's one that's on this on uh, this slide that uh, goes out to there, okay? Storage, absolutely huge, right? This is a drop frame, so there's plenty of storage in here. What we mean by drop frame is, see this beam right here? It stops right there. So it's a little bit lower than the main beam of uh, the, the chassis, if you will. So what it does is it gives you wide open storage, okay? Here's control. It is a digital coach. There's all kinds of digital features to it. We'll go over that more inside. Room for a 40 pound propane tank if you want. Okay. Now this does have frameless windows, which is awesome. Uh, the sides are made from Asdell, which is also neat. So you won't have any delamination. Also better thermal things going on. You got a nice outdoor TV, which is in its own cabinet, which by the way, these are all slam latches. Now it is tough to get all the way around here, so I apologize. All right, here's another thing I love about this. Look at this. It's got a full molded fiberglass back. So it actually, when you're going down the road, it looks like a motor coach, right? As you see, there is a ladder. Get all the way up to the top to do your inspections and any kind of servicing. It's pre-wired for a few round backup camera, all right? On this side, in the back, this is where your power comes out. It is electric, so you just have to hit a button to roll it up, which is awesome, okay? Uh, there's three slides back here. One, two, three on this side. All right, you can see your level up system. It is an automatic leveling system, so you just hit a button and it levels itself. Uh, it does have upgraded suspension, so it's a nicer ride going down the road. This is the other side of your storage. Let me see here. All right, also your wet bay. Now this does have a uh, water filter already in place, which is awesome, so you don't have to buy that separate. All your satellite connections, cable, your water. Again, it's your water compartment mostly. Here is where you'd put another propane tank. You can put up to a 40 pound tank in this side too. Now here are the numbers. Again, I don't have my glasses with me, so I can't read them off to you. I'm so sorry. Now up front, this does have the Moride pin box. So it's an upgraded pin box. There is some storage up here as well. Uh, typically that is where you would put your batteries as well as your generator if you wanted an onboard generator. That control panel right there is for your auto level. So it's right here, which I absolutely love. So when you're taking this off your truck, you don't have to come all the way back here to try to get to it. It's literally right here. And so you can be standing right by your truck when you're taking it off, which is great. All right, so what do you guys think of this Landmark 365 Daytona? This is our very first time in, in, this, in this manufacturer. And the quality, it's, it's surprising. Great woodwork. Um, the valances are absolutely beautiful, right? The day-night roller shades, gigantic TVs. Oh my God, huge TVs. If you like to watch TV in the football game on Sunday and you're on the road, this is the RV for you. Huge kitchen, so many pluses in this. Um, we, we were shocked uh, when we first came in here. Guys, if this is the first time you found our channel, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Do us a favor, smash the like button. It costs you nothing, but let me tell you, the YouTube algorithm loves it, and it's gonna help us out, so we really do appreciate that. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button, all right? For all of you who have already subscribed and are coming back to the channel, thank you so much. We do love you guys. Thank you for being part of our family and part of our journey. We really do appreciate it. So for everyone, until next time, 